This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network, and I do just want to let you guys know this is an earlier version of the pack. You will see my name bouncing across the screen. And with that said, let's just jump right on in. It's Fantasia. Welcome to my very first gameplay video for Growing Together. So we're just going to kind of go with the flow. I'm going to introduce you guys to the family I have here. Of course, you know, I don't have much time to film videos. This is just like the extra early version where my name's bouncing across the screen. So this is not like my actual game that I usually play in. So no CC, no other packs or anything like that. I will have an actual full Let's Play coming when the pack comes out. Regular early access is not happening this time. So when the infant update drops, none of the game changes are getting the pack early. So bear with us. I'm sure Let's Plays will be coming like a little later later. I'm going to try to get my let's play up by the 17th. Let's cross our fingers. I can do that. I'm going to try my best, but it's going to be difficult because usually I have some time to prepare, but we don't really get that this time. So before we get into it, let's do our notification shout out. And this one goes to Cynthia. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're the best. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shout out, all you got to do is comment down below. So look at our little infant here. This is Rosalie. I freaking love her. So I'm going to introduce you guys to the fam bam. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this play and slowly introduce you guys. So we have no Nevea. And then we have the husband, Colson. And then we have their two kids, Atreus and then Rosalie. So this is a little family that I made like for a temporary gameplay type of family. So I'm probably going to be making a new family for my let's play. But if I fall in love with them, maybe I will go ahead and continue with them, but like add some CC. I don't know yet. Um, But I do have a storyline in mind. So if I do use them, the story will be changed. <laughs> so as for Nevea, let's go ahead. Let me just go ahead and like look through everything with you guys so she has the successful lineage and then i didn't get them jobs at all like i just want to do the family gameplay so they literally have no career and they're like loaded <laughs> so that's kind of what we're dealing with um oh guys look at this the way they just hand each other the infant that was cute anyways <laughs> So Nevea is good. She's neat, family oriented and domestic. And then here we can see the milestones guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to go through the milestones in this first video. Since it's kind of like the introduction to the family, I think it makes sense. With milestones, you can kind of like choose how you're going to sort it by if you want to do that. And look at this. So first of all, because she's already like accomplished some things clearly because she's married and she has kids. So the game kind of automatically determines, okay, then you've had your first woohoo. You've had a baby twice. And it literally will say here, like, of course, Atreus was her firstborn. So it says Atreus. And then, and then it says Rosalie, like how cute is that? Fell in love, got married. I just think it's so adorable. So keep in mind when you start the game, you know, whatever age group your sim starts off as, they're not going to be able to go back and look at their previous milestones because you know, they didn't exist yet. <laughs> However, when it comes to like an infant, they're going to have milestones like all the way up, which is so cool. So you can see here, Rosalie, she has the born milestone and first smiled. So she has smiled. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And then as for Atreus, he doesn't have any yet. So hopefully we kind of see some pop up for him. And then as for Coulson, he'll probably have, yeah, he has the same ones as his wife. So as for Coulson, he loves the outdoors. He's childish, family oriented and domestic. Also, you can like, you know, if you want to pull this up, it does show the milestones like underneath here, you know? So there's that. Ooh, we have to teach him how to ride a bike, but Atreus loves the outdoors. And then Rosalie is sensitive. Ooh, okay. Um, oh, Colson can't stop laughing. <laughs> Okay, so he likes jokes. Yeah, sure. Sounds good to me. All right. So I think a lot of the things that I want to focus on in this episode is some outdoor stuff because it's a beautiful day. It's Sunday. It's family day. So I think we're going to go ahead and have you build the treehouse, and then we'll have Atreus join him. So I think that would be cute. Oh, look at them showing all the love, you guys. My heart. Oh, they're so cute. So I think he's going to go ahead and put her down. Um, I'm not sure where he will do it, and I'm just going to go ahead and see what he does, to be honest. Okay. He's going to go and put her um, in the little like playmat thing. Oh, that's cute. So this is the house. This is like one of the homes that's in the world already. Um, let me go ahead and just show you guys. It's not the starter home, but it's another home that's available that's empty. And I love it. I think it's perfect. I love the outside of it. And I did go ahead and place the treehouse down and, you know, the bike over here and just some stuff over here. And then I changed the inside quite a bit, I would say. So I kind of like redid the kitchen and this is like a new stove we got and a new fridge and then I completely like just decorated this infant room and it is so cute so yeah I changed a lot in here like a lot I love it so freaking much 
And then I changed a bit in the living room as well. I put another one of these and then I put this here. You know, this is the portable crib that looks like a playpen. By the way, you guys, you can basically make your own playpens, which I wasn't aware of. And you guys told me and I was like, oh yeah, because those new like baby gates that we're getting or that we have now, <laughs> you can go ahead like, of course, and like baby proof it. So then your infant can play in there. You can put toys and stuff in there and it's basically like playpen. So that's awesome. And then here is the parents room and the bathroom over there. And then upstairs, this is Atreus's room, which I like completely redid as well. So cute. I love it. And then here's the guest room because I'm going to have the grandparents stay over. So this is another thing I want to do. I have created uh, Nevaeh's grandparents, which is Jamal and Janessa. So I'm going to be going over like compatibility and stuff in a minute too, but you know, we have a lot to go over. <laughs> so we have a lot to cover guys, but yeah, I'm thinking they're going to stay over in one of these gameplay videos and this will be kind of the room they stay in, which I think will be perfect. But yeah, and there is another bathroom up here. Okay. So he has started building the tree house and we're going to go ahead and have him join. So if you try to have a Treus or like any child build a tree house on their own, it's actually not going to let you. It says that they need parent supervision, which I kind of love that little touch. What's wrong with Rosalie? She's sad. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with the infant like interactions. So gas trouble from gassy quirk. Feeling gassy is never fun. Rosalie needs to let it go. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. So it's saying she has the gassy quirk. It's not showing us that she has that quirk, which is surprising. I don't know if that is like supposed to happen. Keep in mind, this is like an early version. So if anything's not working like how it should, that's why. Also the fun is gray. Okay. The fun motive is locked when infants can't move on their own. Completing the sit-up milestone allows infants to scoot. That's so cute. Okay, so she's upset right now. Can we help her out? Um, so here is some of the infant like interactions. You can do peekaboo, cuddle, play. You can blow raspberry, bounce. Let's do that. Let's, uh, oh, we can do tummy time. Yes, let's do some tummy time. Okay, so hopefully this will help her feel better. Aww, but she also has love shown from receiving affection. Rosalie feels, oh, oh okay, wait, we have so much going on. Let me pause this for a minute. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Rosalie feels occasional warm affection. It sure does feel nice. If only it was more frequent. Oh, that is so cute. Also, they just became good friends. Oh, okay. So are we doing tummy time? No, wait, we want to do tummy time. Is she still feeling gassy? No, she is feeling better now. Okay. No, wait, 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 wait. You are still gassy. It's going to be for three hours. Okay. Let's go ahead and attempt at the tummy time again. I don't know if she'll actually do it. Oh, cradle infant. Oh, guys. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Guys, I just feel like the, I don't know what it is, but I think, I know like the welcome wagons here, so much is happening, <laughs> but I just think they did a really good job with the animations. That's another thing I want to focus on with these gameplay videos. I think, you know, paying attention to the animations and stuff. I also think the infants look really good, like in, when you really see them in your own game. So like, you know, some of us feel like they look too much like uh, toddlers, I personally think they look perfect. Like, you know, it's kind of supposed to be the in-between stage. So I think they did a good job. And seeing them in my own game now, like I can see even more of how good of a job they did. Literally right away, I'm looking at Rosalie and you can 100% tell that's younger than a toddler, you know? And they're supposed to look like that in-between stage. So I just think it's so perfect. Oh, it makes me so happy. Okay. Oh, she's like unsure about the bottle. How cute is that? <laughs> adorable. So she is yeah, feeling inspired, yeah. closely connected. Nevea really cherishes her close family connection. Spending yeah. time with such a close family oh. member is always heartwarming. Oh, oh, oh she just burped. <laughs> Did you guys kind of see that? Um, okay, let's see. No, oh no. Should I be short. more lenient from strict family dynamic? Oh, I think this, because of this popping up, I think this is a good time to show you guys. So basically, let me open this up. Nevaeh is actually pretty strict with Atreus and she's an amazing mom. And I feel like, she, you know, Atreus is just at this age where Nevaeh is feeling like she needs to be a little more strict. I don't think it's going to always be this way, but it might stay this way for a little while because I think she's going to continue to feel this way even when he enters teenagehood. So that's how that is going right now. And then Nevea is actually distant with her father. So that's going to be interesting when they come to visit. I'm actually quite curious how that's going to go. As for her mother, she's also quite distant. So they haven't seen each other in a little while. It's been a bit. And then she's close with Colson, her husband, and yeah, so I guess we're going to kind of see how it goes. Atreus, though, he's close with his grandparents, so we love that. I'm not going to spend too much time on the family dynamics. 
you know, we'll probably explore the- Oh! Oh my gosh, wait, I think it worked now. The cork. Yes, okay. So, cork revealed gassy. Rosalie has some tummy issues. Aw, infants with gassy cork will be gassier, which can make them fussier due to the discomfort. Each infant is different from the next and has three infant corks that can be discovered over time. I feel so bad. Oh, I love the little icon. That's so funny. Let's go ahead and see what we can kind of do for her. But we also have the welcome wagon and like... <laughs> I want to say hi to everyone. Oh my god, look who it is! The Sims from the trailer! Oh my gosh, let's say hi. Invite neighbors in. We're gonna go ahead and stop building for a little bit. I don't know, like, what kind of progress they have made so far, but, you know, that was some nice, um, bonding time together, I feel like. And you can see here that he is starting to learn some skills that he usually can't learn. Oh, what is this? Okay, he's cleaning up the bottle. Okay. So he's gonna go ahead and do that, and oh my gosh. Oh, She's so upset. Why are we not doing tummy time? I just want to know. So, okay, hang on. Don't we need that little rug? Um, I think I got one of those. Well, there's this right here, but you can't really, like, do anything with it. I'm not really sure why the tummy time is being so difficult. <laughs> like I said to you guys, though, you know. Oh, is she gonna nap on here? Oh, she's falling asleep. Okay, that's cute. Yeah, let's let her sleep. She's feeling a little grumpy. We're gonna have to change her diaper though, shortly. As I told you guys in the build buy, if you watch that, um, you know, these do come with the pack. So of course you're gonna have to wait until an infant like actually has a dirty diaper, you know? So, but you can also play in outfits on here, which is pretty cool. Um, we love that. All right, so I wish there was like a kid that came, you know? So then, you know, he could make his first friend, but that's okay. He does have school tomorrow. Uh, you have a movie here childish viewing from watching tv oh okay <laughs> all right because he's childish but go ahead and talk to this dude um so also you guys we have like this amazingness now i freaking love it like literally the friendly category is completely changed like everything's changed look at this potty humor like oh my gosh like i just think this is the coolest thing ever like literally so we're gonna go ahead and um, I guess we can discuss our interests and things about the outdoors. Okay. Oh, look who it is. So, Nevaeh's father has come over. Interesting. So, we're gonna invite him in. Okay, I'm surprised he's coming over already. I don't know. That just surprises me. Okay, how are you feeling? Okay, she's just getting her little nap in, which is perfect because she's having, like, an afternoon nap. It's literally the perfect timing for that. Oh, I want them to be very close, so hopefully that can happen. But let's go ahead and have you kind of, like, do a heartfelt compliment. And then, yeah, we're just gonna have some family time. Also, he's feeling confident. It says, I believe in me from confidence gain. The most important person believes in Atreus himself. Oh, that's so cute. I can from confidence gain. Atreus is feeling capable. Can he do it? He can do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and just catch up a little little bit you know they're pretty distant oh wait what are you feeling oh awkward from family dynamic Nevea never knows how to act around distant family members things just get weird sometimes it feels like they just don't get each other oh my gosh that is relatable <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and, you know, try to just have things feel a little normal as much as they can. Yeah, swap baby milestone stories. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I love how they're all sitting together. That's actually adorable. All right, so let's do friendly again. And we're going to go ahead and do small talk. And we can uh, ask about day. Yeah, let's do that. I think you're going to be waking up shortly. You're definitely going to go in your diaper soon. But that would make sense, like, while you're napping. Where did the other Sims go? <laughs> like, he came with his whole family. And it kind of seems like everyone else left. And then, you know, he's just chilling. But maybe that's a sign that they're meant to be friendos. So, uh, yeah, I'll take that as a sign. Uh, definitely. Um, let's go ahead and swap milestones with you too. Heartfelt compliment. Discuss neighborhood changes. Okay. So there is so much to explore, you guys. Like, <laughs> like this is just the beginning. Like, there's, I'm not even going to get to even half the things, which is crazy. Like, there's going to be so many things. Like, you know, we have slumber parties. We have baby showers, family reunions. There's so many things to go over. I just feel like this is the type of pack, you know, it changes the overall gameplay. So it's going to take time to, like, explore everything. You know, we're definitely not going to be able to go over everything. But also, there is the friendship bracelets. So I don't think we're going to do this in this gameplay video, but we will soon, but we're going to def definitely do that. And I think maybe when he goes to school, if he meets a friend, he'll go ahead and try to give one to his friend. So yeah, well, look at this. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to have him make this one when he does make it. I like that one a lot. Okay. So yeah, we'll get to that. He can also go ahead and make one 
here, which is really cute. It's also a beautiful day. Like I would love for them to get out to like the splash pad. I mean, it would be cute because the grandfather's here and maybe they can go together. Oh, he just gained some more confidence. I love that for him. So right now he has high confidence. Sims with high confidence have learned to believe in themselves. They become confident more easily, even when learning from mistakes. However, they can still be hurt when criticized. High confidence becomes high self-esteem when aging into a teen. A, a child sims confidence levels can increase or decrease depending on skill gain, school performance, positive and negative socialization, succeeding or failing, or skill-based activities. Okay. Confident or embarrassed moods and more. Caregivers criticizing or praising a child's behavior also impacts their confidence levels. Okay. There's a lot that goes into that. Okay. So Rosalie is awake and she just got this quirk loves wake up time. Okay. So she loves wake up time. Rosalie is frequently bright and sunny upon awakening. Infants with the loves wake up time quirk are more likely to be happy when they wake up. That's so cute. That is so cute guys. Okay. So yeah, she has that here now so she can get one more and does she still have, yeah. So she's still having gas trouble. How can we help her out? Like I want to, the only thing I can think of is like the tummy time, but like, I don't know why it's not like doing it for me. <laughs> oh, she's farting music notes. Oh my gosh. Maybe. Oh, I love the way they pass the infant. Oh my God. Stop it. That stop. Okay. I missed when she was like tickling her. This is still a really freaking cute photo though. And I am sorry, but like, are we playing The Sims 4 right now? Because it feels like we're not. Like this is the cutest photo ever. <laughs> Maybe he can do tummy time with her. I really don't know like why this is being so difficult. But like I said, this is literally my first time. So I could be doing something wrong. I thought they needed the little mat, which is this one here, but <laughs> I don't know. Is tummy time happening? I don't know maybe oh okay we're randomly okay oh i think it's happening okay oh it is happening perfect i don't know why you have to go outside oh my god <laughs> wait let's watch oh my gosh you guys oh she's crying no okay i can't i can't that makes me so sad can we like can we help her i don't even think we can oh <laughs> oh my gosh Okay, it looks like he's leaving. She's trying so hard to lift her head. That's why she's upset. She doesn't know how to lift her head yet. Which, like, precious. Oh, now she's back on her back. <laughs> oh, that was so cute. Okay, so... Oh, I think that helped her gas. Yay. Awake and happy. Rosalie is awake and in a happy mood. Oh, look. The grandfather is helping with tummy time. Oh, my God. So, I think she'll become happier with tummy time once she learns how to lift her head. Oh, this, okay, okay, but this breaks my heart, like, I can't help it. Like, I want to give you a hug. Oh, okay, now she looks happy. Is she learning? Oh, my, oh, now she's sad again. Also, I hope you guys like her birthmark. I thought it was, like, the cutest thing in the world. Oh, <laughs> she's so cute. Oh, my goodness, that was precious. Oh, <laughs> stop, stop, stop it. The way she pats her belly, that is so cute. I really wish this was like inside the house, but I think there's like not enough space or something. Also, I love how they actually have no teeth, like how they should. I think they could start to grow teeth, but you can see like she doesn't have any. Um, I think they will start to grow them. Aww. <laughs> what a good grandpa. Like, hello. Oh my gosh. Ooh, she unlocked another one. Oh my gosh. Cool milestone unlocked. Oh my god. Ooh, ah, uh, oh, Rosalie might not be able to talk, but cooing sounds are a great step in verbal communication. Have her socialize with other Sims or a stuffed animal to practice more. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I love that. That is literally everything. Oh, we can coo at Jamal. Oh my goodness. I am obsessed with that. So she's feeling pretty good. She, oh, oh, did you see that? Wait, what was that? I don't know, love shown from receiving affection. Guys, I'm literally melting. This pack is pure serotonin. Uh, so far, I'm super impressed and I've barely gotten into it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's coo at Jamal again. All right, I'm literally focusing on the infant so much. What are you up to, little dude? It's five o'clock, I think. Well, Okay, so she can't lift her head yet, so she actually can't eat at the high chair, but I think I'm gonna put a high chair at this table here. I think that would make a lot of sense. Okay, what high chair do we want? Also, these new potties, like, can we take a minute? I think this exists in real life, I'm pretty sure. I think so, right? <laughs> okay, so what, what high chair do we want? Do we have any new high chairs? 
I don't know about that. No, I don't think so. Well, there might be some new ones like with base game, but I didn't check yet. So honestly, I don't even know. It might just be like the same ones unless I keep like passing over it. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one. She does like pink, but well, actually that actually, okay, never mind. That goes better because of the wood color. So yeah, that goes good with the table. So we'll go ahead and just get that one. But as for right now, uh, yeah, we're not really going to be able to use that. I also don't know if that's like the greatest spot for it. Hopefully that will be like fully usable, but that's not something we can use right now, but I'm excited for all we can. Um, okay. Are we done with tummy time? I feel like we've been doing it for quite some time. Oh wait, they're still bonding. Okay. Hang on. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened there. Um, there's another sim at our door, but I don't think we're going to answer it. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and well, she was hungry, right? Yeah, she is getting hungry. So we're going to go ahead and oh, we're going to bring her inside and then we're going to breastfeed inside. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> it's okay. So I feel like that was really good bonding time that they had together. I liked that. That was cute. No, don't put, don't put her in there. We need to breastfeed. Okay. Breastfeed. I love these. The play mats. They're so cute to me. I just love them. Oh, okay. So we're going to go ahead and breastfeed. I think she will probably, well, she did bottle feed. I don't know. Maybe she does both. Yeah. She, she'll be a mom that kind of just swaps between the two. Or maybe she pumps and then, you know, puts them into bottles. That's another thing. They're just enjoying some cartoons together, which I just feel like this is the perfect family Sunday. Like, I actually love that, you know, I started on a Sunday. I think that's so cute. Aww. Okay, wait. Is she going to burp again like last time? Because I kind of missed it before. And that's so cute. Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There's the bubbles. So cute. Aw, guys. Like, even the way that they hug is like so perfect to me. Like, I just think everything is so cute. I can't get over it. All right. I think, you know, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. I feel like this is super wholesome already. So I think they're just going to like enjoy their evening. And in the next episode, I might start off from Monday morning. And then, you know, Atreus will have his first day of school and hopefully makes a friend. And then we can like, you know, try to get close with that sim and make a friendship bracelet for them. That'd be so cute. And then maybe we can work on the trio some more, or we might go to the splash pad. I think that would be really, really cute and then maybe we can get Rosalie to learn how to lift her head and then she'll be able to eat at the high chair. There's just so much to do and then we will absolutely be doing a family stay over with the grandparents and I really want to see how that goes especially you know because there's kind of like different family dynamics going on there but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this first family gameplay video. I don't know why I said family gameplay video. <laughs> first growing together gameplay video. And yeah, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys are all being an amazing, amazing day, and don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys. Also, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. The night is young, so